Hi, my name is T. Vishnuvardhan. I work as a program director for the Access to Knowledge program at the Center for Internet and Society. And my primary role uh, as a program director is to grow the open knowledge movement in India and especially the Wikipedia, Wikimedia movement in Indian languages. Uh, I want to share some of my thoughts about open knowledge, about Wikimedia and why I am passionate and why this program and the team that is working in this program is trying to do what it is trying to do. Uh, I want to begin with a simple real life story, my own story, right? I was born in a small town, rather in a small, in a village, then moved to a town. I was not born privileged. I didn't have any connections, right? And wherever I have reached in my life, it's only because I had access to knowledge, right? Uh, the, the only uh, source of empowerment for a common person like me and you and so many of us is knowledge. You know, this is something that I deeply believe in. And when, I, when we say open knowledge movement, the simple idea that comes to my mind is making available knowledge to everyone for free. And the person that comes into picture is my own self 10-15 years ago and even now because I personally have benefited so much from accessing knowledge and I see the significant uh, uh, or such a powerful tool that having you know free and open access to knowledge is in any domain that you are and in India especially with the coming of the digital technology and the internet, there are millions of people that are coming onto the internet. And millions of people, not just from the cities and metropolitan cities, but also from small towns, from villages, getting onto the mobile, getting onto their uh, tablets, whatever it is, people are getting onto the internet and people are getting onto the information highway. Currently, they may be consuming Tamil songs or Tamil movies or Telugu movies or Hindi songs, whatever it is on YouTube, but soon they will look at, they want to consume, they will look at, they will search for information, knowledge, data in their own languages. That's where I feel when we say open knowledge, we cannot limit open knowledge just to English and we need to think beyond English also English definitely, but also Indian languages. And that is where I see the role that the Wikimedia movement is playing globally. There are near about 290 Wikipedias in 290 languages. There are near about Wikipedias in 290 languages. And there are already 22 Indian language Wikipedias. And who is growing this? It's you, me, everyone. We have to join hands and if we want to emerge, evolve as a great knowledge society, if we want a, a powerful country, a powerful nation, then open knowledge in Indian languages is going to be an extremely key aspect for us as a nation, for us as language communities, for our culture, for preservation of our heritage in so many ways. And here the Indian language Wikipedias can play a major role and any other open knowledge platform can play a major role. So there are at various levels that one needs to work. One at the level of policy environment, creating an enabling policy environment. And this is where CIS has been working, Center for Internet Society, as a policy think tank organization. We have given inputs to open access policy of uh, the Department of Science and Technology, Department of Biotechnology. We are trying to advocate you know, uh, 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 reforms in copyright, intellectual property rights, such that the knowledge that was produced, that has been produced, that is being produced by the public money becomes available to public for free. That's a policy level work. There is much more work that needs to be done. But a smaller layer of the policy work is also to convince the public institutions, especially 
the universities, the state academies that have huge content in Indian languages over the last many years that they have produced to convince them to release this content under a free license like the Creative Commons share alike, you know, uh, uh, attribute share alike 4.0 license or whatever, the Wikipedia compatible license and host them onto a public platforms, knowledge sharing platforms like Wikisource or Open Tamil. You know, there are so many platforms that are available, you know, like Padma for uh, video, Indian Cine.ma for cinema related work. There are so many platforms that are emerging. Of course, the Wikipedia platforms are much more popular and much more easily searchable and host this content, give them a new life. You know, the knowledge that we produce in the last hundred years, how can we give them a new life, new lease of life? in the age of internet you know that's a different kind of policy uh, advocacy kind of work and cis has been doing that so far as part of the access to knowledge program we have brought about 20000 folios under creative commons license across five languages uh, odia kannada telugu konkani and in english there are about 20000 folios that we have brought about and we want to bring about at least 100 books you know, uh, in each of the five languages that we are currently focusing. And we will do this with the community's collaboration as A2K program in collab by collaborating with the, uh, the Wikimedia communities and also collaborating with institutions like the universities where we are trying to build partnerships. Uh, the second layer, one, this is the policy work. The second layer is to create a knowledge sharing economy, a sharing economy. And I think Wikimedia movement is a really great example globally how a one person giving that one hour in a month matters, makes a difference. You know, if one person gives one hour in a month and imagine all the Telugu literate people on the internet or all the Hindi literate people on the internet or all the people you know, who are literate, who are in higher education context, contribute, you know, little by little, you know, in creating new knowledge, in creating encyclopedic knowledge, in digitizing content, you know, this is where the strength is and which is why as A2K program, we have openly taken on the challenge of growing Wikimedia movement in India uh, through a grant from the Wikimedia Foundation and we are actively working with the communities. So, the, it's not just CIS that needs to do this. Many more institutions can do this. There are free software movements across various states who can grow this open and free knowledge movement in India. There are state libraries, there are uh, archives which can encourage, there are universities that can encourage their researchers to look at sharing the knowledge. You know, not necessarily a PhD student or an MPhil student who is doing a research, a thesis, needn't just create, you know, a, a, a end of the course, a thesis, but why can't that student share the archival material that they discover, find openly on open knowledge platforms? Why can't universities ensure that all the research, all the publications by their faculty are openly accessible, you know, and then get this content into Indian languages? So there are a lot of challenges, I would say, but there are also a lot of opportunities for us as a nation, as a diverse nation with many languages. I think we have the highest number of languages in India. And there is a major work that needs to be done if we, if a huge population that is coming onto the internet, which is not comfortable in English, but also English speaking population is there. If we were to grow as a robust knowledge society, the open and free knowledge is going to be a very key thing. And I think there are other movement partners like Wikimedia India chapter. There could be, you know, other institutions in the public, publicly funded institutions, private institutions, media houses. Everyone should look at sharing, contributing collaboratively. That's the key to growing an open knowledge movement in India, especially in Indian languages, especially of creating quality content about India related topics in English.
you look at English Wikipedia, there is far less content about in India. India related topics, Indian cuisine, Indian culture, Indian personalities. I think Wikipedia as a platform is a great platform. Wikimedia sister projects are great platforms for anyone, a common person like me or you to participate, to collaborate, to join hands without necessarily getting into any long-term commitments, right? You contribute at your own pace, you contribute at your own time, you contribute at your own place within your house. And this is what internet makes available. And somewhere the open knowledge movement across the globe, even within the Wikimedia context, is trying to take these essential characteristics or ideals you know, of the internet forward. So my only mantra for open knowledge is you too can.